getting started with AnyMeeting. AnyMeeting is a simple to use yet powerful online meeting and video conferencing tool. It will let you have crystal clear face-to-face -face conversations with remote attendees across the world and collaborate successfully using tools like screen sharing and annotation. Let's jump in. When you log into your account, at the top of your screen, you will see your name as well as your meeting URL, conference call number, and pins. This section provides you all the information you need to quickly start a meeting and have your attendees join your meeting. Use the copy link here to copy all of this information to your clipboard for easy pasting into emails, chat, or other communication. To quickly schedule a meeting, simply copy this information into a calendar invitation in Outlook or Google Calendar and send it. Your meeting URL is a simple address for all of your meetings. You can easily customize your meeting URL to something that's personal or connected to your business. Simply click on the pencil icon to edit your meeting URL. Your conference pin is used by you and your attendees to join your meeting's audio by phone. If you need to change your pins, click the icon here and the application will automatically assign new pins. Remember though, any meetings already scheduled will not have the correct pins, so make sure to update those after changing your pins. The Start a Meeting Now button allows you to immediately start a meeting and provide it with a title, as well as enter the emails of the attendees you'd like to invite to your meeting. You can schedule a meeting for the future by clicking the Schedule button. Meetings scheduled through this feature will have a unique meeting code and will not expose your custom meeting URL for extra security. Please note that these meetings aren't integrated with your calendar and only visible in any meeting. To start the scheduled meeting, click the Start This Meeting button. Meetings can be started up to one hour prior to the scheduled meeting time. The button will only be available to you during this time to ensure you start the correct meeting. Now let's jump into a new meeting by clicking the Start Meeting button. One of the most important things to a successful meeting is having your audio properly set up, so please pay close attention. You can connect to your meeting's audio with either your computer or by dialing into the conference bridge with your phone. Alternatively, if you're already on a call with the person you're meeting with or the meeting doesn't require audio, you can select I don't need audio. We highly recommend using computer audio with a quality headset to participate in a meeting, as this will provide high definition audio quality and the best overall meeting experience. At the bottom middle of the screen are the main controls. The microphone button allows you to mute and unmute your audio, as well as switch to other audio devices or switch to phone. If you are using PC audio, we highly encourage you to set up your audio and video devices when you first enter your meeting. Make sure both your speaker and microphone devices are properly selected. If you have selected phone, pressing the button will display the dial-in information. The camera button turns your webcam on and off, and the more option gives you a preview of your webcam. The screen sharing button allows you to collaborate effectively by sharing your screen, applications, or videos. While sharing your screen in our desktop app, your attendees can annotate your screen, and you can even give them remote control over your computer. At the top right of the screen are some secondary controls. From here, you can start or stop recording your meeting, lock the meeting to prevent additional attendees from entering, access the settings window, access our help options like live chat, knowledge base, or issue reporting, and finally, leave or end the meeting. Clicking the Settings icon opens the Meeting Settings window, which offers configuration options for audio and video devices, custom branding for meeting hosts, virtual assistant information and options, and general application settings. To the left is your attendee list, where you can see who's joined the meeting. All attendees have the ability to mute others as needed by clicking the phone or mic icon next to the user's name, or by clicking Mute All, which will mute all of the attendees except for the person who selected the option. Please keep in mind that once you mute someone, only they can unmute themselves for privacy reasons. At the bottom of the attendee list is your meeting URL and dial-in information, 
so you can quickly copy those and send them out in an email or instant message if you need to add people to your meeting on the fly. The chat area allows you to exchange text messages, links, and even emojis during your meeting. Meeting Notes allows you to collaborate with meeting participants in real time to capture action items, what's being discussed in the meeting, and other details. At the end of the meeting, the notes are automatically sent out by email to everyone who attended the meeting. During your meeting, any shared desktop or webcam will be displayed in the meeting stage to the right. When there are multiple videos on stage, you can double-click on a video to enlarge them. Double-click again to return to the grid view. This also works during content sharing, so you can choose what you want to see. When the meeting is over, simply click the End Meeting button to have everyone disconnect and officially end the meeting. After your meeting, you can return to your account and under Past Meetings, see details about your meeting, including reports. You can see who's attended, see your recording, and even have a link to send that recording out to others that may have missed the meeting. You can also download your recording as an MP4 and share it on your own site or YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a great meeting.